In today's video, I am very excited to announce an integration between the Nerdio Manager for WVD and the Sapago Azure Monitoring Solution, which uses the Azure Native Log Analytics workspace to monitor and report on and visualize all of the various aspects of a WVD deployment. So a few, a few words first about the Azure uh, solution, Azure monitoring solution from Sapago. So it is an agent-based uh, monitoring solution. There is an agent that is installed inside of every session host. It is pointed at a log analytics workspace, which is created inside of your Azure subscription. So it's all private to your environment. And that agent is reporting data to that log analytics workspace on a very frequent basis across many, many dimensions. And there are some pre-configured workbooks and reports that are available uh, that lets you visualize the data and view the various relevant aspects of the current environment, both in real time and historically over time. So our review of the Sapago integration into Nerdio Manager is going to be a multi-series video. In this first video, we will cover the process of enabling this integration. And then in future videos, we'll talk about customizations uh, and, and various other uh, aspects of deploying and managing Azure Log Analytics and Sapago Monitor on top of it. So enabling the Sapago Azure Monitor is really straightforward. In the Nerdio Manager, you have to go to the settings screen. At the bottom, you will notice there will be a new tile called the Sapago Azure Monitor with the current status of disabled. If you click on disabled, you will obviously be able to re-enable it. By, re -enable, by enabling it, you're going to turn it on and be presented with three options uh, about what to do with the actual deployment. So option number one is going to ask you if you already have an existing Sapago Azure Monitor deployment. And if the answer is no, then you will be able to select a resource group, a location, and then a prefix for the name of the workspace, the log analytics workspace that will be created, and whether or not you want to deploy a work group. And then clicking OK will deploy the log analytics work group for you. So let's go ahead and select uh, a resource group. We are going to select the location. Oops, let's do South Central US. Uh, we are going to give this a prefix of Sapago test, and we're not going to deploy the work groups because I actually already have it deployed in the same subscription. So I'm going to just going to click OK. And what you'll notice is that there's going to be a new deployment task that is going to start up here on the bottom in the task section, which is going to create my log analytics workspace in that resource group and that location. Once it is created, uh, we will be able to add different workbooks and point those workbooks uh, in, in a menu that will be created in just a minute once this log analytics workspace is deployed. Now that the log analytics workspace has been deployed, we can see the task is complete. If we click on details, we can see what happened. And what you'll notice is that it not only deployed a new workspace, but it actually was able to determine who should be assigned permissions to that workspace so that a new menu that appeared here called monitor, which is where our various dashboards are going to appear, is going to be accessible to the various users who are given roles in the Nerdio Manager for WVD. And as new users are added, they will be, they will be properly granted the necessary access into the various dashboards that are part of the log analytics. So now that the Azure Monitor is enabled, if we click on the enabled status, what we'll see is that there is a workspace ID and a key that was assigned. And there are some uh, standard workbooks that were added uh, to our list here. And we'll go through this process of adding additional workbook links in a future video. So I'm not going to focus on it right now. But what I did want to specify is that you want you, you have the ability to deploy this multiple times within the same subscription. But if you have an existing log analytics workspace, whether it was used for Sapago or some other purposes in the past, you can select uh, either this option and select your workspace from the list, 
or you can simply specify the workspace ID and key. And there's a little tooltip here that tells you where to find this information. So for example, this workspace ID and this workspace key of an existing log analytics workspace can be used without having to redeploy. So let's go into uh, our log analytics workspace. We'll go under advanced settings. Under advanced settings, we'll see connected sources, Windows servers, and we will see our workspace ID and the primary key. All you need to do is paste this information right here. Now, enabling log analytics and, and, and Zipago Azure Monitor has also made a few UI changes. Number one is we see a new monitor um, menu with links to various dashboards that we've configured by default. Again, we'll review the process of customizing this, these in a future video. But also, there is now a new menu available on each and every host pool in the environment. So if we look under the dropdown next to any host pool, you will see a new Sapago menu. Under this menu, you will be able to control whether Sapago is enabled or disabled on a per host pool basis. By default, it will be enabled across all host pools. But remember that the changes are only applied to the newly created or re-imaged hosts. And then as far as the settings for the workspace ID and the key, those are inherited from the global setting. But if you want to override it and point different uh, host pools and, and the, the session hosts inside of those host pools to a different workspace, you can uncheck the box and override those settings. Now, by having this enabled on a host pool level, what happens is that when a host is created, so for example, let's take a look at the process of creating or re-imaging a host. If you look on, under details, you'll notice there is now an additional step in the host deployment or re-imaging process called Install Sapago Azure Monitoring Agent. That's the agent I made, mentioned earlier. It, as it gets installed, it will be injected with the proper workspace ID and key, as well as the name of the workspace and the name of the host pool. And that is going to properly point it at the log analytics workspace, and it will immediately start reporting its data to the log analytics workspace. If you do not want to have log analytics and Sapago Azure Monitor functionality, you can either disable it globally from here. And if you do so, you'll notice that the Sapago menu will disappear from the individual host pools and the agent will no longer be installed. Or if it is enabled globally, then you will be able to disable it on a per host pool basis in case you do not want to have it apply for a specific host pool. So that's all I wanted to cover today uh, when it comes to actually enabling, deploying, and integrating the Sapago solution into Nerdio Manager. As you can see, it's a very seamless integration. And then in the, in the next video, we are going to look at the monitoring menu and how to create the links to the various workbooks that can help you keep an eye on your environment. So until next time.